Dead Space 3, we're doing the collectibles, uh, chapter 13, double A, Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Okay, this chapter is where we're climbing up the mountain. There's several rappel points. When you first start out, you're going to have a bot spot right before the little shack there. Inside, uh, there'll be uh, some more collectibles. Okay, right on the outside of the, the building here is another one. Blueprint. Okay, there's a bench in here, so go ahead and uh, stock up and do what you got to do before you head off onto this mission. And you got a circuit. Okay, once you get done in here, once you go outside and start heading down the path a little bit, you'll have the cutscene with Ellie, and you tell her about what happened with their boyfriend and all that. And then uh, hit the repel and head up. Okay, you're going to come across your first weapon part, and I don't know what the hell is going on with my game at this point, but you see how it's kind of warping in and out, and I'm like, is your screen okay? He's like, yeah, everything's cool with me. And I'm like, yeah, that figures. But anyway, this is uh, pretty sure when your first time you come across any of the enemies, as soon as you pick up this weapon part onto the other side of the area, uh, you'll think you'll find one of those axe guys. He's kind of like stuck in the ice. And he's trying to get himself free. And then you're going to have a little horde wave here, so be ready for it. And there's your weapon part. Right there is the guy. Right across the way is uh, where our next weapon part is going to be. But this is when uh, we get a little, <laughs> a little bit of enemy action right in here. There's our next weapon part. Normally I would cut out all the action, but it was just a little bit in between this area. The two parts are very close together. So make sure you get that. I just don't know why uh, my picture is zooming in and out. Just one of the lovely glitches of Dead Space 3. Alright, so as you continue on, uh, right by where the repels are, there's another weapon part. Okay, so after that, go ahead and descend up the mountain. Okay, after you get up top, you're going to have a bot spot right up here. Go ahead and put your bot down. And then uh, 
on the other side of right where we are, like right through those rocks there, is another little nook in the path. You'll see it just continue down the path, and you're going to get your third bot in there. So as you continue down the path, just look to the left side, you'll have the little path that comes in here. And you'll see it off to the right there, that's your bot and uh, artifact. It's like I'm having a bad hangover or something. Ooh. Okay, get your artifact. So yeah, at the time I thought it was actually a bot spot. I didn't, wasn't really sure that I was going <clears> to <throat> get another bot here, but... When you play the other modes after you beat the game, uh, whether you're doing the, the classic or the pure survival, you really need to work the, the scavenger bots really well because you need all that material. In the classic mode, uh, you're kind of restricted to the classic weapons from the first game. But anyway, continue up the, the mountain. You get to your next spot here. Uh, right next to where the bench is, you have your next weapon part. Okay, so you head up to your last repel, you get up top here, uh, you're going to get attacked again, uh, you're getting real close to where you're going to meet the, the big snow spider, hydra, whatever the name of that thing is. Okay, this is where you activate the, the lift and you bring the other thing. Now you can see with my bot, I'm sporting red rings here. My partner says that means there's no more bot spots in the level. According to my map and my guidebook, there's supposed to be another spot up here. But uh, feel free to check it, but that's pretty much going to wrap up all the collectibles in Chapter 13. And uh, get ready to have your boss battle with the big uh, spider there. Just remember, after you use the generator, you have to lure him into the, the laser beams to harpoon him. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.